Welcome to a maths video taking a look at some indices and thirds. This is designed as a revision video so what I suggest you do is you grab yourself a bit of paper and a pen and you attempt these questions first. After you've attempted them press play and make any corrections to any mistakes that you've made. So here I've got 3x cubed multiplied by 2x to the power of 5. So 3 multiplied by 2 that's going to give me 6 then x cubed multiplied by x to the power of 5 that's going to give me x to the power of 8 I'm just simply adding those powers there next I've got 4x to the power of 5 and I'm cubing this well let's take the number first 4 cubed that's going to give me 64 then x to the power of 5 cubed now x to the power of 5 cubed means x to the power of 5 multiplied by x to the power of 5 multiplied by x to the power of 5 so if I was to do that, I would get x to the power of 15. Note here that this is a little shortcut would be to simply multiply the two powers here together. Next, I've got 24x cubed divided by 6x to the power of 8. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the numbers. 24 divided by 6, that's going to give me 4. Then I've got x cubed divided by x to the power of 8. So x cubed divided by x to the power of 8, I'm going to subtract these powers, so I'm going to get x to the power of 3 minus 8, which is negative 5. Next I've got y to the power of 0. Now the thing to remember here is that y to the power of 0, or anything to the power of 0, is going to give me an answer of 1. Next I'm asked to simplify 4 ninths to the power of negative 2. So our negative here the negative doesn't mean that this becomes negative, it simply means that we take the reciprocal of what we have got here. So the reciprocal of 4 ninths would be to just tip, turn that fraction upside down. And when I do that, um, the power turns from being a negative power to a positive power. So I've got 9 quarters squared, so that is the same as 9 squared over 4 squared which gives us an answer of 81 over 16. Next I've got a bit asked to simplify 27 over 8 to the power of 2 thirds. So the first thing to recognize here is that I'm going to take the cube root of each of these things. So I'm going to take the cube root because I have a 3 as the denominator. So it's going to be 27 cube rooted over 8 cube rooted. And the 2, the numerator, is telling me that I need to square both of these quantities. So when I do that, so I take the cube root of 27, that is 3, so I've got 3 squared over the cube root of 8 which is 2 squared so I've got 3 squared which is 9 over 2 squared which is 4 so my final answer here would be 9 quarters okay on to the thirds again what I suggest you do now is you pause the video again and on your paper um, have a go at these four questions first then press play to see the answers. So first one, I'm being asked to simplify root 2 multiplied by root 10. So that's going to give me root 20. Uh, however this is not fully simplified yet because this root 20 is has got a factor that is a square number. So I could say that root 20 is the same as root 4 multiplied by root 5. So I've got a factor of 20 which is a square number, 4. So I can say it's root 4 multiplied by root 5 and then I can say that root 4 multiplied by root 5 well that's going to be 2. Square root of 4 is 2 root 5. And that would be my final answer there. Next I'm asked to sim being asked to simplify root 75 so what I could say here is that this is the square root of 25 multiplied by the square root of 3. 
notice here that again I'm looking for a square number that is a factor of this number here so a square number that is a factor of 75 would be 25 so it'd be root 25 multiplied by root 3 now root 25 that's going to give me 5 multiplied by root 3 and 5 multiplied by root 3 we just write as 5 root 3 next I'm being asked to rationalize the denominator so I've got 3 divided by root 5 so in order to rationalize the denominator I'm just going to multiply this by root 5 over root 5 and so this leaves us with 3 multiplied by root 5 which is 3 root 5 divided by root 5 multiplied by root 5 which is just 5 so again all that I've been asked to do rationalize the denominator is basically to make the number on the bottom of my fraction a whole number next up I've got 4 divided by 2 minus root 3 what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 2 plus root 3 so I'm multiplying both parts by basically the same thing as or the same quantity as the denominator but instead of having a negative sign I'm going to have a positive sign so I just take the opposite sign to which I have so what this does because this is essentially the difference of two squares what this does is this will eventually get rid of my third on the bottom which is exactly what I'm being asked to do in the question so when we do this we end up with 4 bracket 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 minus root 3 multiplied by 2 plus root 3 so again I'm just re rewriting that remember that whenever I see brackets like this it just means that I'm multiplying these things together so let's expand this 4 multiplied by 2 that's going to give me 8 plus root 3 and that's divided by and now at this point let's uh, expand this so 2 multiplied by 2 that's going to give me 4 minus root 3 multiplied by 2 that's going to give me negative 2 root 3 then positive root 3 multiplied by 2 that's going to give me plus 2 root 3 and then lastly negative root 3 multiplied by positive root 3 that's going to leave me with um, just 3 uh, negative 3 so tidying this up a little bit here what I should be able to see is that the negative 2 root 3 cancels the positive 2 root 3 and so my final answer here would be 8 plus root 3 over 4 minus 3 or well, 4 minus 3 I can say is 1 so again if I just simplify that over 1 so I could just leave it as 8 plus root 3 and that would be my final answer